Hello, my name is Ivan Tapia. And I'm Vanessa Gutierrez. Oscar Avila. And Andres Garcia. We are the concussion detection team, and this is our MB106 project. This is our concussion detection project. And um, so the NFL is the industry, the billion dollar industry, where a lot of injuries occur. Concussions being one of the most common injuries in the NFL. Um, currently, the concussion protocol in the NFL consists of a doctor observing a player and checking for symptoms if, and, and seeing if he's, uh, he has a concussion. Or another way that a concussion can get reported is if a player reports it himself. Uh, for example, if he has a headache, he can uh, tell the doctors. Um, however, some concussions do go unreported. And this, this doesn't just happen in the NFL, it happens in college football, high school, uh, even pubes. And um, so what, what we aim to do is to give the doctors uh, some information about the collision. So what we did here is we simulated the helmet to helmet collision. Uh, we put a force sensor here that detects the force <coughs> from the impact of this helmet. So this helmet inflicts a force on here and then it displays a force out here on the LCD display. And now we would, we're gonna get more into depth into the project. So one of the requirements for our project was to implement an actuator. Um, we ended up going with the pneumatic linear actuator, which is right here. Um, this is rated at 145 PSI. So I'm gonna describe our, our system, our actuating system. Um, so we have a hand pump here. It has a pressure gauge. Um, we connect it to our storage vessel that we created. It's rated for uh, 370 PSI, which is just a uh, regular PVC. Um, so then you, we have some added some fittings here, which is an isolation valve, which is, can be fully open and fully closed. And then the tubing leads off to the solenoid valve right here. This solenoid valve is rated at 100, MPS, 100 PSI. So then this piece, this tubing leads to the actuating part of the actuator. And then this tubing over here, the one over here, leads to the retrieving part of the actuator. Um, one of our most important parts of that of our actuating system is the solenoid valve. Um, the solenoid valve is connect it's interfaced with the Darlington chip. It's a ULN2403. Um, it has a 24 volt power supply. And then to activate the solenoid valve, you have a push button. So when you push it, the actuator actuates. And then once you let go, they're supposed to retreat. So yeah, so this is how our actuating system works. Another instrument that we used for our system was a force sensor. The range for this force sensor was 100 pounds. Before installation to our system, we needed to cover it. The way we cover it was to uh, do some increments of weights and, and pulling down the resistance every time it, it changes when a uh, different type of weight in, in, in the force sensor. After getting all the data points, we enter to a Microsoft Excel product and we graph a we graphed and we got a linear uh, equation and we use that to calculate, uh, to get the relationship with the resistance with force. The only problem was that the Arduino doesn't uh, read uh, for, uh, resistance. And so that the only way to uh, get around that, we use a voltage divider. And every time the resistance change for the force sensor, the voltage changes. So that we, uh, we used, uh, we made an equation in Arduino that every time the voltage changes, it relates to the force and it displays to the display. And that's mostly it we, for the force uh, masses we can use. Now that we know how the actuator works and the force sensor work, now we're gonna go into how we take in the data collected here and go into the LCD screen. We collect uh, 15 measurements at upon instantaneous impact. And after that data is collected into the Arduino, and in our program, we collect, um, we set those 15 points in an array where it takes in the maximum force upon impact. 
and in our program we set me uh, measurements between 0 to 100 where if it went above 50 um, pounds of force above it will then send an alert signal to signal the alert to a medical doctor or physician we will um, display the LED the uh, LED light to go red. Also on the LCD screen will display the force of the impact and whether they can play on or attention needed. Currently the force is zero. Now we're going to do a simulation and display the force upon impact. Now you can see here that the force display is 59.86 pounds force, which is above the um, above our range. So attention is needed, and this will notify um, a doctor. Now we're going to do another simulation, but at a lower pressure. And here you can see that the force display is. 23.34 pound force, which is um, below our warning signal. And as you can see, displayed is play on. This is our concussion detection project, and thank you for watching.